anybody question if Noel is still on duty? Yes, yeah, 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 Blessed day, my viewers and my subscribers. Before me jump in on the topics, my beginner going to hit that like button. It will be greatly appreciated. Now, the topics coming up in this video. Donna Lee, police boyfriend, still remains on duty after allegedly being involved. Protesters come out at Constant Spring Police Station where Noel Maitland is working. Bounty Killer reacts to veteran artist Merciless passing away. Popcorn featured song Tony and Sing makes it to the US Afrobeat song charts. A member of the JCF is among five persons who were held in a major US narco traffic. King and dancehall artist Joshi gets bashed after sending out his artist to respond to Silk Boss instead of himself. So yes people, the first thing we're going to talk about is Donnelly police boyfriend still remaining on duty and a lot of Jamaicans right now are very upset because of that. You understand them feel like sec Jamaican justice system are the worst and stuff like that. I'm going to even show you some of the comments them. You understand? So, I mean, what for remember still you know, people, before me even read the article, what for remember said the investigators or the police, they make it clear say this guy noel maitland and his baby mother katie they are not suspects you understand so i don't really know you know a lot of jamaicans even now wonder how them even get by that because he was the last person who she was seen with and stuff but make we actually get in at the article and they will move to some of the comments them and you guys can tell me anything about this in the comment section all right so it's a cop boyfriend of missing social media influencer still active on duty. The boyfriend of missing social media influencer Donna Lee Donaldson, Constable Noel Maitland, remains on active police duty at the Constant Spring Police Station. That's the word from his commanding officer, Senior Superintendent Aaron Fletcher. Nationwide news understand that a group of protesters have gathered outside at the Constant Spring Police Station demanding his removal from active duty. Constable Maitland is said to be cooperating with, in, with the investigation into the disappearance of Donaldson. It's understood a case review session in relation to the incident was held this morning. It's said to have involved several members of the high command. Maitland has not been named by police as a suspect or a person of interest in Donaldson's disappearance. The social media influencer was reportedly last seen at his apartment. Deputy Commissioner in charge of the crime and security portfolio Fitz Bailey confirmed on Monday that Maitland has given a statement to the officers. The woman district constable who is the mother of Maitland's child is said to have been involved in a love triangle with the other two individuals. Efforts to confirm with her commanding officer SSP Marlon Nesbitt whether she remains on active duty were unsuccessful. Yes, my people, I'm going to be honest with you now. I feel like she still remain active as well. Two of them still remain active, acting as if nothing never happened. And that them basically are doing, people. You understand? Anyway, I could get to some of these comments them quick and fast. Who oh, no, can tell me where anything about this? All right, so one person say, not surprised we're talking about Jamaica here. A next person say, what is really going on in Jamaica? Somebody say, coming like these people are working with some high powers. Hey, man, you better go. Hey, mom. Oh, you bet at the mother, the matter about. Hey, mom, you better go down on your knees and let me sit and God handle this. Because this is definitely like the IMN movie with the policeman untouchable. A next person say, am I missing something? And then put the question sign, what? So yes, people, um, I don't know. I may not even want to talk out of anger or vexation and say certain things, but I feel like they need to put in more efforts as it relates to this case. You understand, people? And we're going to move on to the next topic now, which is basically the people them out at the um Constant Spring Police Station, you know, them are do them protesting and stuff like that. Andre Stevens was there. Him basically, uh, you know, you know him are doing thing already, people, you see it. So I play this video footage and you guys can tell me, I mean at the end of the day, if I this waffle do forget some answers, then I that waffle do. You see me or that them waffle do. I saw it go sometime car. Maybe if you sit down and wait, uh, next year come, we don't get no answers. You see me? And it just end up. When you remember the girl named Jasmine Dean, I wonder if you remember that story there. When you remember it, up to now, when you hear about Jasmine Dean, down the story is just taking time, fading away. Father right now still don't know where him daughter there. Or at least to my knowledge, them not find Jasmine Dean. Anyway, people, check out that clip here. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Justice! Justice! Wait, wait, wait. 
thing, your man. <laughs> Jamaica with out, out, out here at Constant Spring Police Station. Share up the live Jamaica. Tell Jamaica why you're out here this morning. We're protesting for my friend Donnelly. You're protesting for Donnelly? Yes, we need answers. Her mom needs closure. Her sister needs some answers as to what's happening. Even if it's just her body, they need some type of closure. Mm. Anybody wondering if. Anybody question if Noel is still on duty? Yes, yeah, 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 the the road the road 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 the road 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 Yes, Jamaica, the young people is not, you see, it's pure young people no, out here this morning, no Jamaica. No peace! No peace! No peace! No peace! No peace! No peace! No Tell Jamaica who your niece is. Tell us about Dana Lee, man. My niece, you are very ambitious, jovial, don't her loving woman. Mm -hmm. She's always there to help others, even in that deep and saddest time. She's always there. If it's sad, she will come and cheer you up. She's always a loving and a helpful person. She never let leave you and without even trying to make sure you're okay. Mm -hmm. And I, I know that wherever she is, God is there with her because she's a God fearing woman also. So I'm not begging Jamaica to help us to bring back our niece home. Alright people, so that is what's taking place and me don't want the people them for stop. I want them for continue. Honestly, I feel like I said this way will actually help speed up the process because I don't know, as far as I'm seeing it, we now get no whole of information in regards to this whole case, is it me? And you know, even though it was just what Monday, we get some well, we get a small portion to update and thing, but I don't know people, I don't like what I go on with this, I tell you straight up, you see me, I feel like say, the officers them can do more, you see me, even though I'm not a police and I know say, there are certain steps you have to take and, you know, them can't act off of them feelings or half of where people are say, like they like how people would have warned them for us lock up the woman and um, Noel Maitland, you understand, but... You know, I see some people have said something like them feel like the baby mother have something to do with it. Not the, not the guy Noel Maitland, Zane, but them feel like say him kind of cover fear. Well, not kind of, him a cover fear. That's what they say. She's the one who oh, Ray Ray and him a cover fear because him no one should get locked up or whatever. Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about dancehall artist Bounty Killer. Reacting to his friend and legendary dancehall artist um, Merciless passing away. As my people, yesterday it was revealed that Merciless, who is I believe 51 years of age, actually passed away at a motel somewhere off Lindus Road. As you say, people, and you don't know them, I go do the autopsy and reveal what was happened or what happened to him. Should I say? Yes, it. So anyway, Bounty Killer posts up a um. I guess this is a clip we teach them. I think I would teach them. You see my people, but Bounty Killer say, yo, see the icons them not around forever. 
try to give them them flowers while they're still alive and try to preserve and understand the formula. You see my people, so um, that are that. That's how we're about to kill us, you know. Try to give the icons them. Oh, him also go on for say, only John you know, walk straight brother Leonard and him tag merciless. You see me? He did also post up on um, one dance, seeing people where merciless and bounty killer can be seen, vibing and stuff like that. You see me? And him say, few Sundays ago at Sunday shift with the dog a vibe, you know. Condolences to his family and friends. You see me? You can even see Baby Sham put some prayer emojis. Uh, and, and, and even Nesbet put some prayer emojis as well. You see it, people. So, I know say Bounty Killer, one of the artists, them, I would have definitely feel it because, you know, him rate merciless. You understand what I say? Him have a certain respect for him because you don't know the two of them have history and stuff like that. They may clash and all type of things. So, you know, it, it's the whole situation, sad people. You see me? So. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about dancehall artist Joshi being bashed right now. You see my people? And yesterday, Silk Boss dropped a song named Fox. You see me? And in that song, he made this up Joshi. And if you don't know what I'm going, Joshi is basically the one who started this whole trolling thing. See, him always a troll Silk Boss on the internet, all type of way. Plus, he even do a song with the girl named Mayan. And she did actually say something about Silk Boss and Brie. You understand? understand what I mean, say. And you don't know, say, Brie did feel a way and she did actually make a post basically clapping back at Mayan. You see me? But anyway, Joshi and Silk Boss have them thing right about now. So, Silk Boss got some bops and drop the song named Fox and thing and thing. Now, about what, a couple hours after that, we see Joshi make a post on Fame Instagram page a show the same artist named Dan Pre I actually answer Fame. And people, I feel like that is very lame. Remember, you know, Joshi is a good artist, you know. And I feel like Joshi doing this is like him a try to say Silk Boss on the panim level. That's why I'm sending out film artists for Clash Silk Boss. You see me? That's why I'm basically a my people. And I'm going to be honest with you, know, the song with Silk Boss drop, it sound all right. It's so it can go on. It sound good. You see me? You're going to have some people that talk about it in the radio yet because I see some people that try to style the artist about Milk Boss and all them type of thing. You see me? So... After Joshi did post up that, you know, he might make some little talks in the comment section at all about him and send out him artists for like robot um silk bass and all them things, you see me. But the youth done pre, I'm telling you straight up, you know, you know, you know really depend on silk bass level yet. I'm gonna be honest, and I know this me and this year. Me see most people are say a song no sound good. All the people are say that, you see me. And Joshi, you need to answer the man because you always are trouble the man. Now the man put out a song, you are going like say, you are a bigger artist for Silk Boss. You know, you are no bigger than Silk Boss, you know. You are a good artist, Silk Boss is a good artist. This is a level playing field. But that is just my personal opinion as it relates to all of this. Silk Boss, the only advice me can give you, don't respond to the youth named Dan Pre. You know, if you even drop a next song, make sure it aim off a Joshi. or does not drop no more song. You see me, but a Joshi a troll the youth from long time and now the man get fed up and answer. So you need to respond to him, brother. Or else, uh, Silk Boss are going in the clash. Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about the song named Tony and Sing being featured on the US Afrobeat charts. And of course, that is with Burner Boy featuring Popcorn. So I'm going to get into the story right about now. You see me? So it said, Tony Ann puts Popcorn on Afrobeat's chart. For the first time since its launch almost four months ago, a Jamaican artist has been featured on the U.S. Afrobeat song chart. Tony Ann sing by Afrobeat artist Burner Boy featuring dancehall artist Popcorn enters the chart at number 12. It is one of the 23 songs on the charts for Burner Boy. The chart is measured from leading audio and video music services plus download sales from top music retailers. Tony Ann sing inspired by former Miss Jamaican and Miss World Tony and Sing is featured on Burner Boy's fourth major label release Love Damani the album was released by Atlantic Records debuted at number 2 on the US World Albums chart number 14 on all genre Billboard 200 Albums chart number 2 on the UK Albums and 6 in Canada Norway and Switzerland on the streaming and sales driven Billboard Reggae Albums chart Legend The Best of Bob Marley and The Whalers remain 
remain on top for the 132nd week. Sean Paul Dutty Classic Collection is steady in the number two position, while the best of Shaggy, the Boombastic Collection by Shaggy, re-enters at number three. So yes, my people, I'm not reading out the full article because basically they might talk about some other songs and some other stuff we get featured on charts and you understand, coffee and them thing. So, I mean, this is a good looking, you know, but I feel like the reason why this even make it on the, um, wait, name the charts, Zane. I mean, I said the song no sound all right, you know, people, Zane. But I you don't know the controversy was surround Popcorn and Tony and sing the whole relationship and them thing. So, all the people are going to listen to it. All the people are you understand? And the song sound good too. I don't know Bernard Boy a good artist, Popcorn a good artist. So, we know that these two would have actually make, you know, the song would have sound good before we even hear the song. Yes, my people. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about an update that we get after the JCF Mocha and the whole of them running a one house in a St. James and actually whole up on some people where you don't know them are deal with some exportation and stuff like that. You see me? You know when you see Mocha and on a regular thing that you see my people and also one of the person them who them all is actually involved in the Jamaica Constabulary Force. You see my people so I get into the story right about now and only can tell more anything. You see me? So it's a member of the Jamaica Constabulary Force is among those taken into custody in Montego Bay, St. James, as a part of the major Jamaica slash U.S. narco trafficking operation that targeted individuals in the Western City and in Kingston early Wednesday morning. Assistant Commissioner in charge of Era 1, Clifford Chambers, told Observer Online that the lawman works out of St. James. The anti narcotics joint operation involving the JCF Narcotics Division, MOCA, CTAC, Jamaica Fugitive Apprehension Team, FID, JDF, Drug Enforcement Administration, and United States Marshal Services. You see it, so that is what's going on. You know, say, me I tell you straight up, enough extradition are going to go on right now. Holy, of them are going to get extradited and thing. Remember, you know, US involved in this, you know, people. So, you know, me not ask, you know, enough of them boys are get sent right about now. Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section, you understand? Um, yeah, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, you know, people. Bless upon yourself until I drop the next video. I'm out.